long, don't ask questions. Daddy doesn't know. Daddy doesn't know. Why won't you tell me your name? But I've told you. They call me Ginger. And I could have guessed that by now. But I'd like to know something about you besides how charming you are. That's practically all I know about you, but I'm satisfied. Of course, I've guessed that you're somebody's chauffeur. That's a pretty good guess. I am somebody's chauffeur. I'm smart about things like that. But you told me that you won't be a chauffeur for long. That's right. In a few days, and I'll be out of this uniform. Oh, I'm sorry. I like you in this uniform. But you won't tell me what you're going to be. Well, you won't even tell me what you are now. Well, it doesn't matter. Because what I am now, I'm not going to be for long, either. Well, then I guess we'll just have to stick to our agreement for a little while longer. I mean, about not trying to find out about each other. Well, as long as we know we love each other, that's enough, isn't it, Carter? Yes, ma'am. In fact, yes, ma'am. Sir. <laughs> I wish whoever's honking that horn would stop. I hate to combine business with pleasure. I'm afraid that honking means my Aunt Emma. Well, I could stand the horn if you'd only stay. Pretty soon there'll be no one to bother us, except each other. You stay here. Aunt Emma might see you. Did I hear you calling? I doubt it. Whenever you're with that guy, all you hear is the call of lovebirds. Come on, get in. We got things to do. I've been doing things. In a town full of big cars, you have to fall for a chauffeur. Instead of angling yourself a nice seat in the back of some car cushioned in currency. I don't care if he's a chauffeur. He's a whole lot finer than some of these well-padded birds I've been in back seats with. What about that old duck we met for the show played Baltimore, remember? He was gonna do all right by you. All wrong, I called it. Your eyes are like two teaspoons full of the Mediterranean. Who did the guy from Baltimore? No, Carter did. Well, it'd be a lot better to have those eyes of yours called two big gold pieces by some guy that's got the gold. I'm sick of this whole racket of ours. Running around to night spots and parties, always working on some man. Especially when you find someone you like and can't be with him and you can't tell them why. I'm sick of the whole sneaking business. Oh, come on now. Come on, snap out of it. We gotta get to work.